All right, we are opening the shed. Oh my God, I can't even open the door. Uh, this is uh, just one storage area. Uh, as you can see here, here are some candy canes. Uh, here's a box, so this is this is gonna be new this year. Here's an eight and a half present archway that we're gonna put up. We have two of these uh, and we're gonna put them out this year right by, uh, right on the lawn, I think. I, I've seen pictures online where people put their giant eight foot Santa that they got, which we have uh, from Home Depot underneath there, but he's a bit bulkier and wider than this. I mean, if you can look at this here, this is kind of like a diagram of how, what to expect when you put it up. It's about eight and a half feet tall. I'm assuming underneath this space here, I mean, it's showing it's a five and a half, uh, 5.3 feet wide. And you're probably gonna lose about a foot from the top of the present here to here. So really it's probably about seven. So what we thought of doing was putting, as I get behind the door here, we have two of these guys. They were from Home Depot Black Friday last year, these six foot animated nutcrackers. Uh, we're probably gonna put those, you know, probably gonna set them up underneath. Uh, really neat, really like these guys. Uh, problem with them is their eyes light up, there's music, that's all that, that's great, that's all there. But this guy does not come on when the lights come on. So all of our stuff is on timers. So when the timers go on at approximately four o'clock, everything goes on, including our digital eyed nutcrackers, the eight foot ones that have been sold for the last few years. These guys do not go on automatically. You have to physically go behind their back and push a button to turn them on. And I don't know why Home Depot did that. I, I get it, they were a Black Friday $100 special but um it just doesn't make any sense <laughs> you know and it's kind of sucky like you have to go on your own lawn and run up and push the button uh so people can see it uh as you can see this guy fell down but yeah we got our blow mold choir in here we have a lot of candy canes back here uh as you can see this one it's been damaged it was damaged from uh the, the jerk with the car last year so Unfortunately, uh, that one is probably beyond repair or damage fix. Well, I mean, you could probably seal it with E6000 glue. Uh, there's a large candy cane right there. Those are six feet tall. Uh, and there, and there are more candy canes back there. I mean, it's, it's perfect to put these on the truss or the rafters, if you call them that, whatever, <laughs> of your uh, shed uh, and hang them up there. These are very, uh, they're larger. <laughs> What are they, the four foot candy canes from Empire? Blow mold, uh, late 80s, 90s. These are wonderful. This is what we line up our entire house with, like at least our lawn. Uh, we are gonna do that soon, so this is just a minor update. But there, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. And we have to take a lot of this stuff out single-handedly so that we can get two other things. Uh, but the reason why I'm filming is because we have several bins here of Christmas lights, extension cords, lights that were never opened, uh, boxes of trees that we put on our lawns, all kinds of stuff. Uh, a lot of extension cords, a lot of storage. I mean, clearly, this is literally all Christmas stuff right here. All of this. <laughs> all of these bins. Uh, and uh, we have to slowly but surely take everything out behind this door here, put it in the backyard, and... Uh, carefully take it out so that we can start uh, setting things up. I and mean, we started, uh, but this weekend I'm going to work on the gutters to start getting the gutter lights up. And uh, little by little, task by task, we're going to have stuff put up. And yeah, before Halloween it's going to look goofy, but you know what? We have so many things that we have to do uh, that it takes a long time. And as I did that, one of the boxes tipped here. But that's fine, because we have to take it out anyway. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, as you can see back here, there's just a lot of stuff. And we got these nutcrackers here. We have teddy bears, gingerbread men. And yeah, we have our drummers and stuff. I mean, these are all these are all blow molds, and we, we love them. Uh, they, don't, they don't get old uh, for me. They're just nostalgic, if you want to call it nostalgic. But also, I grew up on these things, and that's why we have so many. And... Uh, you know, a lot of companies are making these again, but mostly characters, as you'll see, here's a, if you look right there, there is Baby Yoda, 
Uh, a lot of these companies are making Baby Yodas and all kinds of stuff. Grinches and whatever characters they have. There's a Frosty brewing there. Frosty the Snowman. But that's what people are doing now uh, because they, they realize there is a market for these. Uh, unfortunately, um, some of the stuff that you see here, like these candy canes, these little teddy bears, these soldiers are still being made, or full signs still being made. Some of these are just not made anymore because the molds don't exist. They're gone. They've been permanently um, taken and melted down probably by scrappers when one of the biggest companies in the world went down uh, and went under years ago, back in 2017, I believe it was. Uh, all the molds were sold to scrappers or people who were trying to maybe bring them back to life. Unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's going to happen for... Uh, some of the other stuff that's deemed lost or bought, but nobody knows when they'll be manufactured again. But anyway, this is the shed. This is only the shed. The attic has a lot of stuff too. Literally, the attic has probably just as much in there as our shed. And it's all in one space. Usually, it's right above the garage, so it's easy to get to. I just get up there, get what I need down, and I don't have to really crawl around in the attic to grab things. So that's a plus. But as you can see, we have so much here. And this is just phase one of the pro of the project. And uh, it's one of the toughest phases because you have to start by outlining your lawn with these candy canes. There's about 45 to 50 of these. Uh, I don't use them all. I have a, a backup. Like, I think I have like maybe 10 backups or so uh, that need to be have wires replaced and things. But they're there if I ever need to. Uh, but these guys will go out, and we will put them up soon, uh, very soon, actually, probably within the next week. Uh, and then we have to take out these big guys. Like right here, this is part of a nutcracker that's eight feet tall that was sold by Home Depot. We're going to put them together with the big Santa that we have, which is in our garage currently in pieces. But we'll put them back together and bring them to life again for the season. But, yeah, as you can see, this is no easy task. This is done. This is daunting, uh, it takes a lot of time, and it takes a lot of effort, and a lot of people help us out, and we can't thank them enough. But this is just a start video for you guys to see what it, what kind of entails opening and unlocking a shed and looking in here going, man, what are we doing? Why am I doing this again? <laughs> you know, but we, we love doing it. We love that people like us doing this, and uh, our children, especially my one son, he loves loves this stuff and it's our bonding time together and uh, they're only young ones right so when he gets an age he probably won't be doing this anymore with me but i'm not counting down those days i'm counting the days now which i guess is what you should be doing but anyway for perspective doors open we're gonna look in here you can kind of see it gets kind of wild it gets kind of crazy it, it <laughs> it's very uh difficult to do all this and there's a lot. This is this is nothing. I mean, we we basically empty the shed out. We don't put everything in here out. That would just that would just be insane, and there would be no way. But as you can look in here, a lot of this stuff, probably 70% of it, goes out. Which again is is pretty much the entire shed, but not everything, right? So, yeah. Here's an update video. So we're starting to bring stuff out slowly but surely. I will uh, post another update when we have. Some more updates, I guess. I know, that sounds redundant, what I just said. But yeah, up more updates to follow. So this is the first video. Thank you for watching.